And with Drew Reeves, your first alert forecast. Yeah, we uh, actually might have our first first alert weather day coming up. Oh, we'll see. It's, okay. it, we're tracking that closely today, but 45 degrees here in Portland on our Rivermark Community Credit Union camera on top of the Portland Opera Building. You can see we've got mainly dry conditions at the moment. It's looking pretty cloudy here in Portland, but not much going on. Darker clouds out in Seaside on our Shiloh Inns camera, 45 degrees, and you can see uh, off in the distance that some rain is definitely coming down there. We've seen a, a bit of rain through the day today, but also some thunderstorms along the coast. That's still possible today, too. Uh, isolated thunderstorms possible mainly along the coast, but you can see western side of Salem and then down to Eugene. We could also see a few of those thunderstorms popping up through the afternoon. But as I mentioned, not a lot going on in Portland at the moment. We've got a few uh, showers on the west side of the metro around McMinnville kind of coming off of that coast range and then into the far northern parts of the coast. You can see on the camera there some showers coming down there too and then into the foothills of the Cascades a little bit. Uh, but for the most part right around Portland we're dry. We've only received four hundredths of an inch of rainfall so far today uh, just with a few showers this morning. But Salem definitely has been wetter two tenths of an inch there and then two tenths of an inch in Astoria is the wet part of the coast. Everywhere else has been fairly dry through the day today as well. We'll see a few more scattered showers through the day today uh, and then dry out tonight into tomorrow. Tomorrow morning looking like it's going to be a dry start to the day. We could start with some frost though. We're expecting temperatures to get pretty cool. And then I think we'll see a few showers moving in tomorrow later in the afternoon. But Friday is where things turn really wet. We're expecting the winds to pick up quite a bit as well. And then Friday evening, you can see things are turning really wet into Friday evening. We're expecting quite a bit of rainfall into Saturday morning. And then through the day on Saturday, it's looking like mainly just some shower activity. But here you can see this is going into Friday afternoon. We're definitely going to see some wet weather and then take a look Friday night into Saturday. Most models showing that we'll likely see somewhere between an inch to two inches of rainfall just in that uh, nighttime to the overnight hour. So that's quite a bit of rainfall to fall into the night there. So that is why we're tracking that as our possible first first alert weather day. We'll also see those winds picking up. It is possible that we see maybe a few outages because of those winds power outages there. Uh, so it could be a pretty stormy day, mainly in the evening on Friday, 57 degrees for the high there after a couple cool days today and tomorrow. We're still into the mid 50s on Saturday with some showers. We'll get some sunshine there as well, but then we turn rainy and colder Sunday through the beginning of next week, and we are going to be seeing quite a bit of snow into the Cascades and potentially into the foothills as we go into next week. Nora.